I just feel different. Like I've just grown, like I, not in height, but just in, I don't know, I've just gone to a new level within me. And, you know, since, since the course, I've had like eight coaches come to me, like out of the blue, don't even know them, wanting to sign up. And I'm like, this is it's really interesting. Are they responding to how I'm writing? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I think they're responding to who I'm being. Like I'm a different person as a result of the course. I don't know how else to explain it. And I guess when you change, you start to attract different things in your life. And that's what I'm experiencing. I just hit, you know, 45% open rate. And this is to a sort of coldish audience that have never had emails from me and so that was a, a game changer for me but understanding well hold on I'm using the wrong um or, or the, the words that I'm using aren't relatable they, they don't sound like me because you've got to know me through the course you know that I don't speak that way um but also the structure of the newsletter there's a lot of structure that goes behind how you craft a newsletter that is entertaining that does deliver value but also can have a soft sell pitch in it or a hard sell pitch um, that was a real learning for me of how to craft the right structure and the right balance and the other big thing was diving deeper into me you know what am I prepared to share how much of my personality, of my private life, my husband's, you know, other family members, do I want to share? Am I prepared to share with my audience? And so I really needed to consider that, particularly in the first week. So I could choose not to share a great deal about me personally, but I could share experiences that I've had or shared with others. So there's no right or wrong way. It's about finding that balance that will suit you but also will suit your audience and how you can tie the two together and there's that will work for everyone. I, I'm 100% agree with that. No one will be able to come into your course and actually not have anything to write about. It's impossible. It really is. I realise that my audience aren't on LinkedIn all the time because they're working. Yep. They're on, they're in emails, they're in meetings, uh, they're on online meetings. And to reach them, if they've had a busy day, the last thing they're going to be doing is sitting on LinkedIn and reading stuff from me and a whole range of other people. So emails is a really good way for my market, for my audience to get into their inbox on a regular basis, to give them that break maybe from a busy day, it might be something that I might share that's entertaining, but I'm in their space. And I think that's probably the realisation that the email marketing approach that I'm taking is actually more directed of what's going to work for them.